there! In this tutorial, we'll provide a step-by-step -step guide to creating a trifold brochure in Quark Express. We'll cover the best tips and techniques to design the perfect layout. First, start a new project. Now, we're going to set the layout type as print. You're now going to make sure that the page count is set to two so that we can design on both sides. Then, change the margin guides to 0.45 with three columns for each of our folds. Then press OK. Now you're ready to start designing. So for a trifold brochure, the general format is the front cover grabs attention, the inner panels add more information, the outer flap highlights a call to action, and the back cover provides contact details. We're going to follow this format as an example. To set up some basic grid lines, click on the master page button so that the lines are applied to both sides. Then from the measuring bar, move your cursor across to start drawing a line. Place a line in the center and another two within the center of the folds. You can use an image box to help you visualize your layout. Next, we're going to create some style sheets. Style sheets are a collection of formatting settings that you can apply to your text in one go. It acts like a template containing both paragraph and character attributes that can help streamline your workflow. Go to the menu, then choose style sheets. Next, click on character. Name this as body. Now you can customize the settings to how you want the body text to appear. I'm going to go for Roboto as my font and the size is 8. Next, click on Paragraph to edit the Paragraph style sheet. Put the name as Body and select the character style as Body. Now, if you go to the Format tab, you can tweak the Paragraph settings. So, now we're just going to repeat that. For our heading text, go to New Paragraph, put the name as Heading and make your desired adjustments for the heading text. I'm going to use Roboto again for the font, but this time I'm going to up the size to 25. I'm also going to change the color of my header text by going into the Rules tab. Tick the box by rule below, then go into color. Then if you click new, you can add a custom color. For my design, I'm gonna select red. Now click save and we're good to go. So for our brochure, we're going to add a bit of flair to our design to make it really stand out. Draw a rectangle at the top of the brochure. Now, we're going to use the wave tool to make some really nice waves across the top here. Change the frequency to seven. Then you're gonna rotate the waves 90 degrees and reposition them so that it fits nicely into the brochure. Highlight the rectangle and waves you've just made. Then merge these two together by clicking Merge or Split Paths, then Union. Now we're going to add an image to the wave shape. You can use the Stock Images tab or grab an image from your desktop like what I'm doing here. Now copy that box and change the color. Then right click on the image and bring it to front so that it stands out. Now we're going to add a circle on the first fold and put an image inside it by right clicking on the circle, finesse the image a bit, then create a border by clicking on the border tab. Thicken up the border a bit and change the color. Now for the text, we're going to use those style sheets we created earlier to save a bunch of time. Now, instead of a regular bullet point, you can level up your design by drawing a text box. Then go to Window and click Glyphs to bring up the Glyphs panel. There's a whole bunch of glyphs here to play around with, but for now, I'm gonna go for this cool tick. And then, I'm just going to change the color to fit the theme of the design. So now we can move on to the next fold. I'm going to include some contact information on the second fold of our brochure so that we can still view the information when the brochure is folded. I'm going to add a different background to the second fold to differentiate it from our other fold. To make the design a little more interesting, draw out a rectangle, choose a light gray and then right click, center back so that we don't cut off the waves we made earlier. Now I'm just gonna add a QR code on the back of here to make all my contact info easy to access. To create a QR code, create a text box and go to utilities. Then click on make a QR code, add in your website link, then the QR code is automatically generated. Now I'm going to make a small table by clicking on the table icon and set the body row as one and the column as four. Now let's pop back into the glyphs panel and add some social media icons. So now let's talk about one of the most crucial elements you'll want to add to your brochure. A call to action. Call to actions or CTAs for short are a visual prompt that tell the viewer to take a specific action. So for our brochure here, I'm going to add a big call to action on the back, encouraging the viewer to contact us. 
and put in a few more tables to really bring the design together. I'm now going to repeat the tricks we've covered to flesh out the rest of our brochure. The great thing about these tips is that you can experiment and learn a lot from them, then use them all for whatever type of design project you have in mind. And there you have it. Just from using a few simple techniques, we've elevated our brochure to the next level. Thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified of more Quark Express tutorials. Thank you.